Welcome to my Rans S21 kit delivery and inventory video. I got this out a little late. This is all filmed mid-December of 2019. Enjoy. I'm like a YouTube video. Full on mic camera. I am. Crack me up. Ready for this, Lee? Doug, how the hell? I know. I like Pretty high ceilings. If that, that guy's about 4,000 feet up there. Okay, so that's a smaller crate in front. Yeah, so that's the, that's the fuselage cage and all the other stuff. So that's about 500 pounds, I believe. We can push the 12 footer, uh, this this lift gate's pretty big. I think we can get that 12 footer. We can kind of scooch it off and maybe turn it sideways so it balances on it, possibly. Well, they got it in here somehow. Well, but probably with the forklift. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I got one more guy coming. He's pretty good, big dude. He's down the street. I didn't film as much as I wanted to, but I had this time lapse of unloading the two crates. Luckily, my neighbors down the street were home and they uh, came and were a big help. Otherwise, I probably didn't have enough people. So it ended up working. We basically turned the 12 foot crate sideways, got it off the lift gate and into the garage. A little bit of trouble with the pallet, but otherwise everything got in okay. You can see the two crates in my garage. There was some damage on the longer crate at the end, but um, I opened it up with the driver there and nothing inside had any uh, type of damage or was affected in any way. This crate had the cockpit cage, tires, windshield, seats, and a uh, large box of hardware. Okay, I'm continuing to sort all the different hardware pieces out of the large box that was with the fuselage cage. So what I'm basically doing is any infinite related parts, rudder, elevator, horizontal stab, vertical stab goes on that pile. This is on my wing pile here. Goes to fuselage. And then over here is the finish kit parts. When you're doing your uh, inventory, it goes by uh, finish kit, fuselage kit, wing kit, inch kit. And then there's some landing gear parts that are specific to either tail dragger or nose wheel airplane. So I got those kind of stacked in the back. But we'll continue to sort through these and I think I'm going to pack away everything that has to do with things I'm not building immediately after I check them off the inventory list for instance the finished kit and the fuselage kit is probably down the road for me I'll keep the wing kit handy somewhere um, of course there's lots and lots of little bits of the wing kit Packag packages and packages of bits um, and then when I get to the tail section, I'll probably put that up on a, maybe this board here, on a two by four stand and all the different parts visible. And then I'll go along with uh, each call out for each part bag and it'll be easy to find. But I still gotta get into this uh, large 12 foot long crate. I don't know if there's more hardware embedded in that thing or, or how to maneuver and get in there, work on that. One thing I wanted to point out as I go through the different 
hardware and parts that are contained in that box there that was in the large crate with the welded fuselage. Because this is a uh, end rib for the horizontal stabilizer. And I always looked at pictures of the S21. I was kind of concerned these were opened holes. And this was a basically the end rib on your horizontal stabilizer. And I, um, I'm always concerned that something can get in there. I'm glad they have closed ribs for that now. So when your uh, your elevator's up or down, you have an opening. Don't have an opening. You have kind of a cover so birds or wasps or bees or other critters can't get into your horizontal stabilizer and making a nest. I came across this part, which is elevator hinges, and then on the packing list they had marked. That was an old part and referred to these hinges. So this kind of shows the Rands is constantly updating their kit, making things easier for the builder. If I had to go through and cut each of these hinges out, I'd have to take a uh, tool to smooth out all these edges and these holes, get the burrs off of them. Instead, I got this package of hinges ready to go. Just bolt them on. Thanks, Rance. I kept both crates on furniture moving dollies and I ended up deciding with a cockpit cage crate, I moved it over to the other side of the garage and I was able to put some of the larger pieces like the wing tips and ABS plastic closeouts inside there and store it that way instead of breaking down that crate. I used the storage rack hanging from the ceiling to store a lot of the larger aluminum items and then the spars I put on top of the cabinets. There's a little space up there. The 12 foot spars fit there really well for the wings. After I got my workbench built, I got into the 12 foot crate. And this is some fuselage skins that I'm putting on the bottom shelf, wrapping them in the paper, trying to keep it protected. You have to remove those two by twos along the edges of the crate, otherwise you're going to mess up your wing skins. They fit real tight in there and the instructions are warn you. There's a, actually a piece of paper in there that warns you you must remove those two by twos. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then I'll get those uh, wing skins out and on that bottom shelf. You have to be real careful not to bend your wing skins. They're super expensive and really delicate. I should have had a second person here. I was able to just slide them out onto that cardboard that I put on down on the ground and then shift it over to the lower part of the shelf. But you can see how uh, delicate they are. Um, once they get in riveted in the structure, they're really strong, but um, you don't want to bend them in two directions at once, otherwise you'll crease them, and that will, could be an expensive uh, lesson. Alternatively, I've seen others who have rolled them up um, lengthwise, and then that will allow you to uh, store them and rolled up. I just didn't want to damage the edges, so I stored them flat underneath the workbench. You can see how the workbench legs extend out and kind of give it a little bit of protection. So once I got the skins out of the crates, I got digging into all the other goodies inside there. A lot of those larger uh, ABS closeout pieces ended up in the cockpit cage crate. Um, longer pieces are on the bottom shelf. And then I have that white uh, rack hanging from the ceiling. I put a lot of the larger ribs for the wings and skins for the fuselage and various larger parts. I have one on this side of the garage and the other side of the garage. Um, additionally, one of those cabinets is 48 inches wide, and so I added a lot of the different small hardware for the wings and fuselage and wheels and different uh, parts. I put them in into one of those cabinets. Very complete kit, very high quality. Um, so this is about all the video I have going through the kit. 
my next video I'll start on uh, the tail parts and uh, again sorry this uh, was so late coming out I have footage for mostly everything up to the wings so I'm gonna try to get that out as soon as possible thanks for watching